Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how you can apply a lens flare effect to your images all in Photoshop. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and I've opened up an image of a car on screen, but you can do this with any image that has a light source, whether it's a lamp or a sunset, a sunrise, or like this, just a car light. So anything with a light source. Now, first of all, we're going to create a lens flare in Photoshop, and then we're also going to be using this one here. Now, if you're going to use a photo of a lens flare, which I definitely recommend because you just get that extra little bit more realism it needs to be on a black background the reason is it will allow us to separate the lens flare here from the background really easily later in the tutorial and you could go on google and type in lens flare black background or use a stock image like this from adobe stock or envato elements that is linked in the description so first of all we're going to create our own lens flare so we'll add a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel and just grab the paint bucket tool and make sure that we have black selected that's in the bottom left corner and just left click on this new layer and we'll double click on the layer name and call this lens flare now the next step is to set the blending mode and change that from normal to screen and it blends the black over the image and then we'll go to filter down to render and select lens flare now this area here represents the canvas if your canvas is square it will fill this entire area so the trick with this is to try and guess whereabouts the lens flare is so i think this is in kind of a little bit in from the left so somewhere around here we can adjust the brightness but at the moment we're just focused on getting the position right so let's click ok okay so we can see that's a little bit too far to the left so we'll go edit undo and we'll try that again and if anyone does know a quicker way of doing this or an easier way please let me know down in the comments so there we go nearly there we'll try one more so I'm just doing this over and over again adjusting the position there we go so that's pretty good so you can keep going until you get it in exactly the right place and then what we can do once we get the positioning right is just undo that re-add it and then we can then choose the lens type so it depends what kind of lens effect you like and we can adjust the brightness as well so let's bump up the brightness and use the 105 millimeter prime so there we go that is how we can create our own lens flare in photoshop now we're going to drag this to the trash and we're going to do this with a photo so let's switch over to our lens flare document remember we have the lens flare on a black background and we can go to select all you'll see the marching ants appear indicating that the entire canvas is selected and go to edit copy switch over to the main document and go edit and paste and again we're going to call this layer lens flare and change that blending mode from normal to screen now what we can do is if we just zoom out a little bit we can go to edit and free transform and we can scale this up from one of the corners holding shift now normally scaling up an image larger than its actual size is a bit of a no-no but because this is a lens flare we can actually get away with it and not get that much noticeable pixelation and we can even apply a very subtle blur at the end as well if we like just to kind of remove any pixelation or distortion that we are getting so at the moment we have the side light here for the car and you can double click or press return to set that transformation and then we're going to right click on our lens flare layer and duplicate it and then go edit free transform and this is going to be the main headlight so we can just adjust the position there and this one of course is a bit bigger so we're going to scale this up and just position that using the mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard and again double click or press return to set that transformation so this looks pretty cool and you can see why I prefer this a photo of a lens flare just gives that little bit extra realism but we do have this duplication of exactly the same lens flare going on so what I'm going to do is just add a layer mask to our smaller lens flare 
and then select black as the foreground color, the brush tool, and you guessed it, one of Photoshop's soft round pressure opacity brushes. That's this one here. And you can adjust the brush size using the left and right square brackets on the keyboard. And we're just going to gently brush over and for the most part, pretty much remove this lens flare here. So I'm just doing this very softly. And if you're interested, I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro graphics tablet and it is linked in the description. And I may even just go back to free transform and just increase the size of that second smaller lens flare a little bit. And this looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is hold shift and select both layers and go to layer and select group layers and we'll call the group of course lens flare. So these are now together and we can go to the bottom of the layers panel and select the hue and saturation icon and we can add a new adjustment layer. There's lots of different ones you can add. We're going to add an exposure adjustment layer and we can adjust the slider here as well so you can see by adjusting these sliders we can make the image more dramatic and increase the brightness now there's some other layers we can use as well so if I just drag that to the trash we can also use a hue and saturation adjustment layer we can select colorize and we can select any color so you could have one of those kind of bluey Xeon headlights and bring the saturation down unless you want a really prominently blue light something like this and we can right click the hue and saturation adjustment layer and select create clipping mask and what this will do is it adds an arrow to the folder below which is lens flare so that this hue and saturation layer only affects this folder so you can see at the moment it does actually affect quite a lot of the image so what we can do is we can click on our lens flare folder. We can add a new adjustment layer and add a levels adjustment layer. In fact, all of these adjustment layers, it's definitely worth experimenting because you can get lots and lots of different effects, but this will be our levels adjustment layer. And what we can do now is bring down the blacks ever so slightly and just bring down those mid tones and you can see we can control the shadows and the midtones and really control how dramatic this image can be. So we can turn this off and back on. And just to go another step, we can even change the blending mode of any of these adjustment layers. So at the moment, I've got the hue and saturation adjustment layer selected and we can select soft light. And similarly, we can create super dramatic effects but it depends entirely what you're going for those are the basics of how to blend a lens flare image whether it's created in Photoshop or a photo by using the screen blending mode and then you can go crazy adding loads of adjustment layers to fine-tune exactly how dramatic you want your lens flare effect to be and there we go we are done and there we go, that's how you can apply a lens flare effect to your images in Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.